Hello and welcome to this episode of that complete heart block. So just taking a step back to start, so an atrioventricular block or an AV block occurs due to conduction pathology between the atria and ventricles. Now impulses will either be delayed or in some cases completely absent. We're going to be focusing on complete heart block or third degree heart block, which is the most severe of the AV blocks. The disease can develop either because of failure of the AV node to conduct an impulse or because of failure in the bundle of his and Purkinje fibres. If that conduction is delayed or absent, then an escape rhythm might have to be generated. Now here, another part of the heart will trigger impulses and cause depolarization. Now ideally, this would come from one of the faster conducting tissues, i.e. the bundle of his or the AV node. And if you get an escape rhythm here, you get rapid depolarization and therefore a narrow QRS. But sometimes the escape rhythm is generated from the ventricular myocytes. And this gives a slower conduction, slower depolarization, and because it takes longer for the heart to depolarize, you get a broad QRS. Now moving on to talk about some causes, there are lots of different types, but the key ones, acutely particularly as as an MI, particularly an inferior MI, can cause any AV block. Medications are important causes, particularly the antiarrhythmic drugs, so beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, amiodarone and digoxin. Hyperkalemia is a potentially reversible cause, and then there are some less common causes listed there. Now, presentation and clinical features are essentially related to reduced cardiac output because of the bradycardia. And typically, these include syncope or presyncope, lightheadedness, and most concerning of all, ventricular standstill, which can lead to sudden cardiac death. Now, the ECG that we've alluded to already, this shows complete dissociation between the P waves and the QRS complexes. In terms of management, Acutely, what we're going to do is adopt an ABCD approach as ever, escalating care early and when appropriate. These patients need to be on cardiac monitors so we can see what they're doing. And we're going to follow through the Resus Council bradycardia algorithm. If we follow through the algorithm, it might suggest that we use some atropine. Unfortunately, atropine is going to be ineffective when we have ventricular escape rhythms. And you're likely to need either an isoprenaline infusion, which is a beta agonist, or transcutaneous pacing. Ultimately, these patients will need a permanent pacemaker to support their heart rate. And therefore, you should seek the opinion of a cardiologist early. So in summary, complete or third degree heart block is the most concerning of the AV blocks due to the risk of ventricular standstill and therefore sudden cardiac death. An ECG shows complete dissociation between the P waves and the QRS complexes. Important causes include an acute MI, particularly an inferior MI, hyperkalemia, and antiarrhythmic drugs. Management involves the ABCD approach and the ALS algorithm, but ultimately permanent pacemakers are going to be required.